Hello friends, how are you doing? Uh, I want to thank you for your time in watching this very short video. This is a slightly different video. Um, I'm going to be talking about a crazy person out there saying that I'm causing cancer. The chemical in question is called BHC, which is short for butylated hydrotoline. Before I get onto that, what I want to say is I would never knowingly damage my customers. It's just crazy. And uh, I've never damaged the environment now, I would never damage uh, animals or anything like that. That is not what I'm about. My, my brand is built upon my ethics. So I'm going to talk about BHT. So BHT has oral toxicity. So let me say that really, really clearly. So we want to work clear. So BHT in oral toxicity studies, that's when they put high amounts of BHT into a rat at acute doses of 0.5 to 1 gram per kilogram causes damage. Now I'm going to show you, so we understand, with the weight of an average human being, if you were to eat it, drink it, what the toxic dose is, and these are long-term studies. This is over a very long period of time. This isn't just one dose. This is Ambroxin. So this amount of BHT taken daily or cause damage. You have to drink it and eat it orally. Through the skin, BHT cannot penetrate into the body, which means it cannot cause cancer, uh, genotoxicity, nothing like that. In this report, which you can go online and you can read, which comes from the um, sort of the chemical regulatory body, they say. Recognizing the low concentration at which BHT is used, it is concluded that BHT is safe in cosmetic formulations. One thing I want to say is, we have these raw materials called Lyral, which cause slight amount of sort of dermal irritation, and they are removed. If BHT was toxic, if we would remove it straight away, we would have to remove it. It is not only me that uses uh, BHT. Louboutin uses BHT. Is that safe? Savage uses BHT, Creed uses BHT, Tom Ford use, uses BHT. I'm going to say really clearly, if there was that, any slight amount of cancer damage, any sort of damage, how many people apply fragrance daily? How much cancer would we have? It's, it's just... But I'm going to go beyond that and I'm going to tell you that the amount of BHT I use in a formulation is the lowest that I can. It doesn't really do anything. It doesn't have a smell. I just want to prevent oxidation. So I use 0 0.002 grams in, a, in that's within the formulation. In a bottle, you are getting 400 sprays approximately, which means in one spray, there is approximately... 0.00005 grams of BHT. So I'm going to go back to what I said. This is the amount to take orally. If you had 0.0 kind of whatever grams of BHT going in your body, do you really think there'll be any damage, even systematic, even over years? I kind of the one thing I dislike more than anything is crazy people giving pseudoscience. I think it damages just people's intellect and it takes enjoyment away. Fragrance is there to be enjoyed. And unfortunately, when we have these crazy people out there attacking small brands, it causes damage to the fragrance world. Unfortunately, these fragrance sites won't remove this litigious um, information because they don't really care. These are perfumer sites and the frag sites, they don't care about perfumery, they, they just don't care. That's really what I wanna to say to you is, please don't be concerned about the use of BHT within fragrances. It's very, very safe. If at any point it's shown that it causes damage, myself and every other company there will remove BHT from formulations, but it's very safe. So I want to thank you for this very short video. I hope it's cleared up any sort of worry that you may have about my brand and about the fragrance industry in general. And uh, I'm going to wish you a really good evening.